Hello, I'm Richard from Glowing Embers and today's video is all about trying to cut the confusion in what's happening with the regulations and wood burning stoves in general. So if you're confused about all the different terms you might hear, eco design, DEFRA, clear skies, whether stoves are being banned or not, then this is the video for you. There's been a lot of press recently about the new regulations coming in for, the, for wood burning stoves and a lot of bad reporting, a lot of confusion about it. A lot of people thinking, are stoves being banned? They're not being banned. Um, what has happened is there's been some new regulations which has swept through a whole raft of industries um, to improve our environment, which is great. And the, the stove industry has fully supported these and have kind of a step ahead of them, really. Um, and eco design comes from that. It's, it was originally a European legislation, Lot 20, and it's just sort of raised the bar for, for the environmental impact, or lowered the bar, I should say, for the environmental impact that all heating appliances can have. Um, and so that's, that's rolled through to stoves as well, and that originally came out with the uh, eco-design regulation. So that's what where you will have heard that term eco-design. And basically that means that the particulates, which is the particular problem with wood burning stoves, if you're burning, especially if you're burning poor quality wood, wet wood, and if it's an older stove or certainly if you're burning on an open fire, then the incomplete combustion is what creates particulates in the smoke. So that's tiny little bits of, of wood which haven't been properly burnt and and that's harmful to 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 us to breathe in so we want to avoid that as much as possible and the new eco design stoves have been designed so that there is as much combustion as possible of of all of the um, uh, wood in the firebox and that's what an eco design stove basically means the regulation came in started from january 2022 that no new stoves could be sold or could be made to be sold that weren't eco-design rated so that they, they didn't meet these new lower emissions. The old stoves, if you've still got them installed, you can still use them. In fact, they are still legal to be sold if they were made before January 2022, but pretty much all responsible stove retailers uh, like us here at Glowing Embers, all of our stoves are now eco-design rated like this woolly mammoth stove here. This meets and far exceeds the, uh, the limits of particulates that, that can be emitted. And it does this basically by making sure that the smoke doesn't go up the chimney too soon. It circulates the air around, it reignites the smoke and, and burns as much as possible before the smoke's emitted to the chimney. And that has two really positive effects. The first one is clearly the environment, less particulates going out to the environment. Um, and the second is it's much more efficient. So you're getting the most heat out of your stove for the fuel you put in. In fact, an equivalent, if you want to get four kilowatts out of a wood burning stove, really you only need one log in there. That'll give you four kilowatts of heat, which is two radiators, which is roughly equivalent to two radiators. If you wanted four kilowatts out of an open fire, you'd need about 16 logs. Um, so an open fire is about 25% efficient. Most of the heat is going straight up your chimney and also a lot of particulates are going straight up your chimney. The modern eco-design stoves, far, far less. Um, and this is something that kind of in the press has all been wrapped in together is wood burning in general. There's a huge difference between burning on open fire and burning good wood in uh, an eco design stove. Absolutely vast difference. And the same with burning the wood in your garden, on fire pits, etc. The, the eco design stoves are really much, much better for the environment. So that's the eco design regulations. All stoves on sale now really meet those, most of them exceed them, and that's where the Clear Skies regulation comes in. It's uh, another term just to be thrown in to confuse people, but there's different ratings of Clear Skies and it just really represents how far the stove beats the Eco Design regulation. So many stoves are far exceeding the regulations. For example, there was a lot of press recently about 
three grams of particulates being the, the limit, the new limit uh, in, in the smoke per hour. So it's three grams of particulates per hour. For instance, this stove that we have here, it's, it's a woolly mouth stove, that's um, been tested and it only has 1.3 grams per hour. Um, so there's a huge amount uh, of difference there and that's, that's where the clear sky rating comes in. So when you see that, it's just an extension of the eco design really, just another term. But essentially, eco design stoves are much more efficient, much better for the environment and still available to be sold throughout the UK. The only other thing then is DEFRA. So um, DEFRA is uh, something that's been with us for, for years, a DEFRA rating. If you're in a city like London and many other areas of the UK which are designated as DEFRA controlled smoke zones, that means you can't burn logs um, on, a, on a wood burning appliance um, unless the, the appliance is DEFRA approved. This woolly mammoth stove is. Many, if not most, eco design stoves are also DEFRA rated. Again, that's just another test that gets done when they go through the approval process that just makes sure that the smoke emitted is under a certain limit, basically. Um, and again, a, a modern, efficient wood burning stove is, is a whole world away from an open fire which caused the smogs in London, especially with the dirty coal that was used. Um, and it's also a world away from a stove which was sold five, ten years ago really. They're, they're, a, they're a completely different beast and combined with, with good wood, it, it's, it's, a, it's a much more efficient stove for you and a much better stove for the environment. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to be kept up to date with new videos. If you've got any other questions, pop them in the comments. We do read those and we'll make other videos um, from those. I know there's lots of questions around this at the moment, lots of misleading information as well. So happy to answer all of those questions and until then, see you at the next video. Mm -hmm.